adventurers, and welcome to another episode of Building Character here at Game Trade Media. I'm Rick, and today we're going to do a little bit of a dive, another unboxing, if you will, of a starter set um, available at your friendly local game store. And today we're going to be looking at the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay Starter Set by Games Workshop and Cubicle 7. Um, <clears throat> as you can tell, the, the box looks amazing, the artwork is beautiful, and uh, they did a really good job, and it definitely sets the tone of what you're going to be looking at on the inside here. Uh, you will be entering the grim world of perilous adventure. The Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay Starter Set contains everything needed to bring the Warhammer world to life. Whether playing for the first time or preparing for your next epic campaign, this box set is the perfect starting point to anyone interested in Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. The adventure book invites players of all exper experience levels into the rich role-playing playground of uh, Ubersreich. For beginners, an introductory adventure teaches the rules as you play. For experienced hands, there are another 10 scenarios aimed to expand your uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay game, offering new locations, new characters, and new horrors to uncover. Accompanying this, a guide to Uber's, uh, Uberstrike highlights the bloody history and recent invasions. It also examines more than 70 locations in the troubled town, uh, and it also details the surrounding fiefdoms, <clears throat> and includes a wide array of dark cults plaguing the area. So the starter set comes with a bunch of stuff, so let's take a look at what it comes with on the inside here. <clears throat> so you're going to get this... Uh, on the inside, it's going to basically give you a simple little GM screen, if you can see that, right there. So you can actually use the box itself, and it gives you all the details on what, what kind of uh, turn orders, combat order, advantages, summaries, all that kind of stuff on the inside of the box. And then, here we just set that there. <clears throat> You're going to get two custom 10-sided dice by Q Workshop which are really nice. So they got the really beautiful uh, scrolling and the, the numbers are highlighted there. I don't know if this shot gets them very well or if the close-up on the other camera here will hit it better. But they're really nice dice and uh, you can't go wrong with Q Workshop. <clears throat> and then all the goodies. <clears throat> Here we go. Set that off there. All right. <clears throat> Just want to say hi to everybody in the chat. What's up, Tommy? How are you doing? Um, and I can't see who that is yet. Walter? Hey, Walter. All right. So you get, um, again, another little uh, handout, uh, some advertisement for some other scenarios and avail uh, available adventures uh, that you can get in the game at your local game store <clears throat> and start up this side uh, it says prepare to enter the grim world of perilous adventure read this first so a nice little handout uh, talks about what's in the box what is Warhammer Fantasy Warplay what do I need to play um, it says here inside this box you'll find everything you need to start playing the game in addition to the books dice and sheets it's advised to have some pencils and erasers and some scrap paper handy. And while snacks and drinks aren't mandatory, they are strongly encouraged. Good call. Uh, and it goes into how do you play, what is a GM, how do we get started, and then what's next. Very cool. And I like that. It has a little bit of a, some flavor text on the back side as well. <clears throat> next, we have Salundra von Drakenberg, one of the pre-generated characters. Oh, she has a very uh, interesting hat. There, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it basically gives you a pre-generated character with all their skill sets and their stats. Oh, yeah, the back. There we go. That is beautiful. Let's see where we got here. There we go. Yeah, that's a great image of a, of a wild character right there. Salundra von Drakenberg. She's cool. I like it. Next, we've got Els Sig Sigloben. El Sigloben. And uh, there we go. It has all their statistics on the inside there as well. And I like these little uh, character shields. You can almost use them like a, a shield have them so people can see who you're playing and be, you have your information here behind you. That's kind of cool. 
I like it. <clears throat> Amorous Emberfell. <clears throat> now this looks like an uh, an elven wizard. Um, a high elf merchant is what they're, they are. A high elf merchant. And they look amazing as well. Very cool. And again, the inside looks like that. It's very cool. And uh, there's Ferdinand Gruber, who is a human wizard. Jeez. When did human wizards start carrying scythes? Good Lord. All right, sorry. There you go. That is wicked. I love it. And then there's Morella, Morella Brandy Snap, who is a halfling thief. And absolutely looks like a halfling thief. I love that feather in their cap. <clears throat> and then there's Gunnar Rolfsson, <clears throat> who is a dwarf slayer. And that is an iconic dwarf slayer right there with Gunnar. Jesus. He looks a, like a, a rowdy type. And then uh, there is a map of uh, Uberstrike and the surrounding areas right here. Oops, there we go. Um, yeah, Uberstrike and the surrounding areas. So you have the Duchy of Uberstrike and all the other little towns. On the flip side, there is the actual city right there. It's nice. And then... <clears throat> we get um, another look. So there's two different looks at the city. Um, no, I think one is the player handout, and the other one is the, DN the, the, the GM's handout, because it has all the numbers to identify locations. And then this one is blank with no legend. So it, it, he, they, you may say you have to go to the marketplace to find something. But the, D, the GM knows on their map where that is, but the players have to be, you know, look on theirs and kind of hope they can find it, I guess. Interesting. <clears throat> then there's the, an introduction to Uberstrike and the Empire uh, handout with conditions reference sheet, uh, showing different conditions from ablaze, bleeding, broken, fatigued, prone, stunned, surprised, and unconscious. So you get all the goodies there. These are really nice handouts as well. There's the tests reference sheet, which allows you if you're going to uh, attempt to do something, you're going to have to make a test, and it gives you your result, your outcomes table, uh, and there's all the way from astounding failure to astounding success. And then attributes and skills reference on the other side, basically letting you know if you have athletics, it's used for running, jumping, and heft. If you want to do dodge, it just allows you to avoid things. Pretty straightforward. Uh, pick lock, bypass locks. So you get all that good details. The injury reference sh uh, sheet. Um, so you get your critical wound table here, which is nice. From a gaping wound to a gash to just torn apart, you are dead. <laughs> it says that, dead. That's nice. And then there's the combat reference sheet on the other side. The first adventure book, uh, your first look at a grim world of perilous adventure. And this has uh, 48 pages of content, um, giving you your first look at Uber Strike and all the denizens that dwell within. <clears throat> and then it, for the deeper dive, so that's your adventure in Uber Strike. And this is your guide to Uber Strike, which is going to give you, again, uh, even deeper, deeper dive for the, for the uh, game master to flesh out their adventure and their campaign surrounding this uh, dark and grim city where man many adventures can be had. Um, then we've got uh, some handouts here. You got rumors and more rumors. And when you go shopping in the market's place to find all the things you need to go on your, on your merry adventures. So again, and these are really heavy cardstock and which is again, nice heft good feel. And then there is a bunch of tokens. And these tokens are uh, yeah, advantage tokens for your characters. Very cool. And that's the 
the quick down and dirty dive into Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, uh, available at your friendly local game stores, uh, brought to us by Games Workshop and Cubicle 7 with some beautiful dice, again, by Q Workshop. So make sure you go out to your friendly local game store. If you are into role-playing games and have yet to delve into the Warhammer Fantasy space, this is the great place to start. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always go to the Games Workshop website, gamesworkshop.com, or just look them up on social media and get all the information you need about all their wonderful products. And we'll make sure you're following us here at Game Trade Media so you don't miss out on any further unboxings. And we will be doing some more building characters, I think, uh, relatively soon. We'll do at least one more before the... RPGs uh, for Gen Con. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, for uh, Gen Con, we'll be talking about RPGs because there's going to be a lot of that going on. We've got um, Thursday, we'll be live streaming... Um, uh, Sentinels Comics RPG by Greater Than Games. On uh, Friday, we'll be doing Kids on Bikes. And then on Saturday, we weren't, we're not doing role-playing games, but we'll be doing some games that are part of the whole pop-up Gen Con, which is where if you go to your friendly local game store, if you can't actually make it to Gen Con, you can go to your friendly local game store that's participating and see a bunch of the games that are being announced and released at Gen Con and have an opportunity to play them and order them and in some cases even purchase them. Uh, so you get to get a Gen Con experience at home, which is kind of cool. And uh, what else? We're, there's going to be a lot of live streaming. We're going to blast out some really cool stuff from the show floor at Gen Con all next week and capturing a lot of other video content that will drop after Gen Con so that uh, you can, we'll be able to share with you all the interesting and fun things that we saw coming out to your friendly local game stores from the companies that are there. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you all tune in for that as well. And until then, this has been Building Character. I'm Rick, and I will see you at a game store. Thanks for watching Building Character. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.